What we're doing today is rocker replacements. The rockers were completely rotted out of this thing. Uh, the customer cut them out for me, which is really handy. Uh, saves him a ton of money and saves me a ton of work. And he's done a really nice job of it. Uh, I maybe will include some pictures of the before, um, you know, the, the before pictures that he sent me, um, so that you can see how bad it was. The inside of these rockers is actually quite solid. Pretty happy with those. You can see there's some surface rust, but it's not too bad at all. So I'm going to chemically rust convert that. I'm going to treat it with a zinc primer, and then we'll put some new panels over it. Going to have to remove these fenders in order to get to the uh, fronts of the rockers. The customer hasn't done that part, but uh, he's done a hell of a lot for me, which is appreciated, and which, uh, again, will save him a bunch of money. And, of course, we've got the same thing going on over here and similar condition to the rocker. Tiny bit worse, but not bad. I mean, it looks kind of rough, but once this is all rust converted, it's not bad at all. We've knocked on that with a hammer and it's pretty solid. So I'll start by pulling out the, uh, the bolts that secure the bottoms of the fender and pull them away. It's very likely I'll have to remove the uh, fenders completely in order to do this job properly, but uh, let's get started. All right, so I have cut out as much of the rust as is going to be cut out. Of course, I pointed out already that the customer actually removed virtually all of this. I just went ahead and cut the uh, the little bit out that was underneath the fender because he hadn't removed the fenders, but uh, now you can see we've got reasonably clean metal to work with all the way around. It's really thin up in here and reasonably this could be removed too. You can actually see there's some rust bubbling right there too. Um, in fact, I'll probably grind that down. I didn't actually notice that. So I'll grind that down. Um, and then when I go to patch this, what I'll do is I'll wrap a patch right up into here and overlap all that material and weld up and around it. So that way um, that's, uh, that's going to be doubled up in strength and I don't have to try welding to lacy old rusty metal. Um, where this is all quite clean so I can weld straight to that. But again, I'll just overlap this area and weld it up that way. So what I'm going to do now while I go ahead and go over to the other side and start cleaning it up the same way I've done here is I'm going to spray it down with some rust converter. This is by Rust Check, but other brands are available. I am certainly not sponsored. Um, anyway, rust uh, converter is a great thing to spray on there. It's a chemical conversion. What it does is it changes red oxide to black oxide. Um, which is kind of like changing a malignant tumor to a benign tumor in that it will no longer spread and grow and be awful. So I'm just going to spray this stuff on there now and move on to the other side. All right, so now that I've got my rust converted, I've sprayed it with a chemical rust converter. I'm ready to start creating my, my patch panels uh, with the four-door side kicks. The panels are done in two pieces because the rear portion of the panel flares out. Um, so we're, what I'm going to create right now is the forward portion. Um, so I've cut myself a piece of uh, 16 gauge uh, that I'll be using for the, uh, the actual panels, but I'm going to just create a little template so that I know what shape I need to create. So I've made a mark here at 9 16 from the bottom. That's the same as the depth of this pinch seam. I'll make a bend there to bring this out, and then I will uh, start to follow that line around. But my first bend is here, and I'm going to guess it's about 45 degrees it may be a little more than that but I'll go 45 degrees we'll bring it back here and see what it looks like so because my customer has cut away the rocker panels for me which is appreciated um, I no longer have a line to follow I don't know what the original rocker panel looked like um, so I don't know how to form my new piece so what I'm gonna follow instead is the line on this fender which is obviously pretty much identical to the uh, to the rocker. Now, uh, currently I'm gonna be working on the driver's side of the vehicle. Right now over here, we're on the passenger side. The reason why I'm showing you the passenger side fender is because the driver's side fender, I'll take you over to it, is completely rotten on that portion. There you go, and so the angles are no longer correct. So I'm gonna use the, um, the passenger fender to create my template, and then I'll just flip it around for the, uh, to use on the driver's side. And I use a handy little pan brake that fits into my bench vise for little templates like these. It has a minimal capacity and only does about 16 gauge and the throat depth is also not great. But for small things like um, these templates, interior panels, gauge clusters, stuff like that, it works really well. Alright, so now that my template is ready and I have some pieces cut out. This is 18 gauge mild steel, and these strips here are what I'm going to use. 
this template to, uh, to guide me into forming. Uh, so my first bend is going to be this one right here. I'll mark that out and uh, bend it in my homemade pan break. Now this is homemade and it is not perfect. It isn't bad, but it isn't perfect. Its biggest issue though is that I've got a little bit of a gap. You can just see it there between my um, uh, the, the, the uh, part of the deck which actually bends and the, uh, the portion where the material is held. So my, uh, my, smallest, um, uh, my smallest dimension that I can bend is about 5 eighths of an inch. And here I'm looking for 9 sixteenths, so we'll, uh, we'll be very close to that, but not, uh, not bang on. And the bends aren't as crisp as I would like them to be, but it's better than nothing for something that I put together in an afternoon here in the shop. It works, uh, so I will uh, do a little time lapse of the, uh, the bends of this. We'll see how it goes. So all done with the rocker panel replacements. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. There's one more bend necessary, and it's marked out already. Um, but I'm just not uh, not ready to do that quite yet today. But here's a pair of them ready to go, nice and identical. These are just the front portions. Uh, the rear portions are yet to be bent, and I've got some panels sitting here for that purpose. So we'll uh, we'll work on that tomorrow, but we're getting towards the end of the day today. So I just wanted to give you a little recap of what's been done and show you the progress, but we'll do those, uh, those ones tomorrow. There's our pair for, uh, for this vehicle and, uh, and the, uh, the pair for the next one, but I'll grab one of these and show you how it fits in place. It's quite a nice fit. And also actually, before I do that, what I'll do is I'll show you the fact that the rust converter has taken hold on this side. It's much darker looking now than it was. You can still see there's a bit of red in there, but it's going to be darkening up overnight. And uh, this is all turning to black oxide, which is a very good thing uh, because it will no longer spread. As I said, on the other side, I have sprayed a uh, zinc primer for further rust protection. Nice silvery zinc coating there all the way along. And I will do the inside of the replacement rocker with this sink um, coating as well before I apply it. Uh, but again, that'll be tomorrow. So let's uh, grab a replacement panel and put it in place so you can see the fit up. So for a job done on a uh, homemade pan break, I think it's worked out pretty decent. Clean lines, you can see there I've got a notation to cut it at that point. That's where the, the uh, rear portion of the rocker will begin uh, because it flares out towards the rear wheel there, as you can tell. Um, but you can see the pinch seam is nicely lined up along the bottom. I'm a little low here just because I'm holding it with one hand, but trust me, it does line up properly once I push that up a little. And that line will then made up exactly right as well. So it should be a nice clean fit. I'm going to drill a ton of holes along the pinch seam and do uh, spot welds along there. And then I will do some uh, stitch welding up here. And I'll either complete that and do a full weld or much more likely I will use a uh, panel sealer slash uh, bonding, a panel bonder to, uh, to finish that off. 
and then the uh, we'll get a little bit of um, either paint or rock guard over it depending on what the customer wants personally I would choose rock guard I think it would look decent and it gives a little further protection anyway that's it for today uh, this front portion right here is going to be a separate piece of course I'm just going to make that up uh, tomorrow as well and we'll get that welded in place too but we'll go over that one tomorrow so that's it for the day I'm going to head home shortly